So my cheese gouda I made yesterday, I did both chili flakes and cumin seeds. It's so beautiful. It's heading into a salt brine. Um, and this is my not beautiful Parmesan. This is why I don't really like this press of mine because the follower is the thing that goes on top. It so easily gets cockeye and then you get a really not, <laughs> not cute looking cheese, but it'll vacuum seal and be just fine. If you want to know more of my cheese making tips and tricks, Hi, Amos. Yes. I uh, put out, just, can we talk to my phone for a second? I put out a free cheese making course called Clabber without the BS. Um, it teaches you how to start your own Clabber culture, which is like, if you like using a sourdough culture for making bread, you will love using a Clabber culture for making cheese. Hey, Rowan, could you put that back on the counter? how to start a clabber culture, how to use the clabber culture in all your cheeses, um, and how to make a wheel of alpine cheese with your clabber culture. It's got your signature, no BS, cut the fat. Well, not the actual fat, but cut the, you know, trim the fat, trim the steps that aren't needed. My signature straightforward teaching style, and it's free. So you can find that at venisonfordinner.com slash shop. And if you already bought my cheese, my full-blown cheese making course, cheese making without the BS, you already have access to Clabber without the BS. I gave it to all of you. I went to a birthday party tonight and I said I would bring a cheese platter. So I have these gluten-free, grain-free crackers, Kalamata olives. Um, this is a cumin gouda, black pepper cheddar, red pepper gouda, and then a basic cheddar. Selfishly, I'm bringing a cheese platter because it's a wine and cheese night and I don't do well eating store-bought cheese. Um, it gives me a tummy ache, I don't really enjoy it. it. Gives me a tummy ache and I don't really enjoy it. I also don't really drink wine either, um, so I'll be bringing a bottle of Mary's Mead. Are you so, there you go. I guess I will ask Dad if I can bring mead, but also I could just grab a bottle of mead if I wanted. He wouldn't be upset. Anyhow. Um, also bring in the gluten-free crackers because if they only have like regular bread and such there, then I won't be able to eat it. The trick to salting your soup is soy sauce. This is a gluten-free soy sauce tamari and we're having a lentil soup and cheese toast and salting with soy sauce. It just really adds a lot, guys. This is sausage lentil soup. It is delicious, even if it doesn't look like much to write home about. And then tonight we're having pasta carbonara. So this is eggs and cream, Parmesan, salt, and pepper. This Parmesan is older than Amos. I made it while I was waiting for Amos to be born. It's uh, eight days older than he is. We're gonna have this kimchi style ferment that we made. It's got all sorts of delicious things in it from our garden. And then over here, I have bacon cooking. I drained off a bunch of this fat because this was really fatty bacon. Um, it's from the boar we butchered. We got water going for the pasta. And then this is stew beef that I canned from a cull cow for my brother-in-law. I did a bunch of it. Two nights in a row now after milking time, we have ourselves some seven minute ice cream. You can find this recipe on venisonfordinner.com. This is a huckleberry version, and it's sweetened with maple syrup, and it's just very basic ingredients, but it's delicious and creamy, and you can make it very easily dairy-free with canned coconut milk. I experimented, well, first we have oven fries and carrots. We already ate a bunch of carrot sticks, but this I mixed, uh, I followed a recipe. It's like mayo, butter, par Parmesan, and breadcrumbs, lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, and then you bake it. This is halibut. It was good, it was a bit rich, we're still getting better, and it was just a bit much for our tummies. Are you eating yogurt? Yogurt? It's the mug side. Mommy. Me and Rowan both have cups. 
Uh, hey, you took my duck one? No. Yeah. They just used it. You can use it. Oh, you don't like the strawberry? Well, my <laughs> yogurt. Yogurt? Very excited. I just printed off our homemade life. 2023 calendar. Um, you can get this printed with a printing partner or you can print it yourself. Our goal with this planner was to make it structured enough to like give you framework for your day and help you succeed, but also open-ended enough that like if you live in suburbia, it's still going to work for you. And if you live on a thousand acres, it's going to work for you. And that was our goal, that it's just very customizable to people who live a homemade life. Um, I chose to print it myself because I'm a homeschool mom who has a laminator and a binding machine. Um, but yeah, you can do it. You can, you buy the PDF through us and then you either print it yourself or you send it to like, do you want to do it at your local print shop? Or do you want to, we do have a printing partner set up with Four Pillars Printing Press. So they have it all there. You just have to send them your receipt and then you pay them to print it. And this is a more streamlined versus if you were going to just do a different printing, like your local print shop, you would have to send them the file and then specify what you want done. We've already specified everything. They already have the file. They already have the pricing, you already know exactly what it's going to cost, so that streamlines part of the process. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough. Please know that I messed up some things while printing it, because uh, guess what? I'm human. But it's gorgeous, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so I've got my copy all bound here, and I'm super excited to show you. So every... Monthly one has a quote, some are from the Bible, some are just lovely quote, quotes that we liked, like this is uh, John Steinbeck. So quarterly, everyone has budgeting as well as planning space. So a lot of planners are like, it's homestead planning, it's homeschool planning, whatever. We wanted this to just be whatever you want it to be. So then quarterly, there's also you know, special dates. Well, that's for the whole year. And then this is homestead tracking. So this is homestead centric, of course, because that's what we are. So this is like, this could be that you put two lasagnas in the freezer, or this could be that you butchered half a cow, or how much milk did you get this month? How many eggs did you get this month? Did you can 20 jars of tomatoes? This is to help you track these sort of things. And then this here is we call routine things. So this is to help you make routines and schedules and rhythms to help your life flow well. So then on each weekly spread, there's a to do this week, we got the dates, and then there's four boxes, well, five boxes for every weekday. And this is so that you can either be like, okay, this is my eight to 11 o'clock block and my 11 to one o'clock block. Like you could block it off like that. Or you could be like, this is what I need to do in the kitchen. And this is what I need to do for homeschool. Or, you know, it's, it helps you plan, you know, block your day to help you succeed. And then meals at the bottom. So the weekends do have abbreviated. We still got the meals, but then you have just one bigger box for the weekend. For the months that are not quarterly, so they don't have your budget and that sort of stuff. We still have a monthly spread. We have the full moon. Oh, which is which? Hmm. I think that's the full moon and that's the new moon. Um, in the depth of winter, I finally learned there was an invincible summer. That, <laughs> that there was in me an invincible summer. Read properly, Kate. Woo. Okay, and we still have the homestead tracking and your routine things. So as you've seen a bit already, every month has its own beautiful watercolor image. So for February, we have that hot chocolate. Um, and then it's, it shows up in the weekly spread as well. And then March, we have seeds. 
April, we have this lovely cow. And then like in the spreads here, there's, <laughs> I wasn't even showing you. In the spreads here, there's lots of lovely watercolor images and just, we wanted it to be beautiful. 